Leaders Barcelona have been beaten on their travels again. Is travel sickness going to cost them their season? Or more importantly, in the immediate term, is it going to cost Ernesto Valverde his job? 3-1 was the result at Levante. That's the third time, Yanish, they've been beaten in La Liga this season away from home. They dropped points as well against Osasuna on their travels. They're immaculate at home. And also, it's the third time that Valverde has lost at Levante in 18 months. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to get the benefit of the doubt that much longer, right? I mean, even if Barcelona won today, I think there'll be plenty at, the, uh, uh, you know, at their home stadium and the fans all around the world that want him out, right? Because he really is pragmatic. We saw today how easily they conceded goals. Uh, I mean, obviously, two goals in two minutes. I think three in seven as well against an OK team. And... Uh, when was the last time we had those conversations? 99% of the time, Barcelona gets all their points, right? It's just not, you know, when Messi maybe turns it on. But even with Messi now, it's rarer in a way for him to do it. I mean, they are a one-man team. I don't care what anybody says. Suarez, of course, we know his quality. We know on a day he's one of the best finishers in the game. But he certainly isn't as mobile. Of course, he's, he went off today, which maybe will gree, uh, get uh, uh, Antoine Griezmann a chance to play through the center. He wasn't bad today, but I just think that this is a, a Barcelona team that's still good enough to win it, but far from being very, very good. A lot of attention has been on the front three and whether it works, obviously, with the, with the star power. It was a Suarez penalty, he later went mm. off injured. Uh, what is the problem going between defence and midfield? Because a lot of the goals seem to be easy giveaways or not taking command of the ball at the mm. back. Perception, lack of quality in the midfield, right? We don't have to go too far away between the Xavi and Iniesta. Frankie de Jong, he's young, he's still finding his way. Busquets is no longer the same Busquets as he was. There's a question, should Frankie de Jong play in the place of Busquets or maybe you need somebody else? You're relying on Arturo Vidal. I'm sorry, but I mean, it's not like you can build around him, right? I mean, he still is okay from time to time and gives you strength, but Barcelona aren't about the strength. They're about playing and the players being technical and maybe seeing ahead of everybody else, right? So there you have it. In that midfield, you know, Artur, I think we're trying to see more of him than he actually is. I think he's a good player, but because of the lack of quality, we almost make Artur better player than he is. Would you, would you not say? I think he's okay, but is he absolute Barcelona level? I would argue that he's probably been their best performer in that midfield this season. But is the problem in comparison then, to what? Right. Is the problem then that the manager, if you change him, wouldn't be able to play this way with these players? Or if they do change him, do you feel that they can succeed in that way? Well, I, I th yeah. I mean, look, it's always about the players. It's you know, I think managers can make a difference, and I think Valverde's time maybe it's run its course because. Not because he's not a good manager, but because Barcelona aren't playing the way they're expected to play, right? So sometimes you have to look at it and say, can somebody come in and just change them a little bit? Maybe be a little bit more direct, right? Or maybe spend more time in the build-up and go back to tiki-taka. Whatever it may be, the perception is, and I think you can see that with even smaller teams in La Liga, perception is that... Barcelona can be had. I don't think you've had that perceptions in the years past. Yeah, Athletic Bilbao, Granada, now Levante, mm. all getting the better of Barcelona on home soil. As we mentioned, Osasuna as well. These are not sides that you'd expect a Barcelona team to lose to, particularly as they're going for glory. They're now vulnerable to Real Madrid behind them, to other teams as well. Madrid have the opportunity to overtake them against Betis. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.